today's film is Blood Delirium, originally known as Delirio de Sangre, released in 1988. The film stars John Philip Law and Gordon Mitchell. The music is by Nello Ciangaretti. It was produced, written and directed by Sergio Bergenlicelli. After his beloved wife dies, an unbalanced painter who believes himself to be the reincarnation of Vincent van Gogh goes over the edge and digs up her corpse with the help of his necrophiliac butler to bring it back to his castle and use it for inspiration. Well, shit, things seem to have kicked up a gear with this one. Blood Delirium is a very conscious attempt to modernize the archetypal gothic scenario of the aristocrat going crazy over the death of a loved one and then that loved one going on to haunt the castle surroundings. The way to do this apparently is to remove all suggestion of the antagonist's perversity and just make them flat out sex pests and serial killers. John Philip Law and Gordon Mitchell give performances which are either astounding or embarrassing depending on what era of Italian genre cinema you prefer. Scenes such as an icon of peplum cinema like Mitchell dry humping a tomboy gas attendant are why I'm perplexed this film hasn't got a Blu-ray yet. It feels exactly the kind of picture obscure enough and lurid enough for the HD treatment and it's overdue because few Italian Genoa films from the 80s are as much of a geek show as this one is. It also helps that Law and Mitchell have great chemistry together and remain engaging in what is a story with very alienating themes to say the least. Writer, director, Bergenzelli did most of the heavy lifting when writing the screenplay as Blood Delirium looks like a TV movie. The lighting is flat and scenes are just documented rather than composed. Some true baroque imagery amongst all the drudge, but the film's impact doesn't come from its technical style, but rather its hysterically bleak themes and scenarios. In conclusion, Blood Delirium is like Joe D'Amato's Beyond the Darkness, only more adherent to the traditions of the Italian Gothic horror. Less derivative of Psycho and more of the horrible Dr. Hickok, few Italian Genoa films are as excessive with its storytelling as Blood Delirium. It might not feature animal cruelty or prolonged sexualized violence, as far as I know, apparently there is only a cut version available on YouTube, but Blood Delirium is a desperate and delirious attempt to transfer the golden age of Italian horror into the dilapidated Italian horror of the 80s. The cinematography is too flat for my liking, but the story content is insane, and when, not if, this film gets re-released in its uncut version, it will be a revelation to many a Genoa film fan. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is The Red Monks.